And Stock South here. Let's move in for a close up. This is some of Sandy's uh, stuff, her antiques uh, that she's been gathering all winter uh, and working on cleaning, getting them, you know, in relatively spiffy shape so that they can uh, be sold at the uh, Slatington Antique Center where she, well, she has a booth. And uh, now some of this is our own stuff, like that guy without the head. Uh, that's well, you see a silhouette up and uh, that I guess a Buddha uh, that that she's keeping but and a lot of these little critters are pretty much her she likes little wooden statues uh, anything kind of odd there's uh, evidently someone took cow horns and made a made fish out of them somehow go figure uh, Nice little print there of the Delaware Water Gap. I don't think you can see it too well. But again, she's always looking for stuff. And a lot of the stuff she sells, is, uh, frankly, I'm, I'm amazed. I'm very, uh, very tickled to have uh, have her as my wife. Because she, uh, I kind of like this stuff myself. I'm usually, if for me, I'm usually getting records and things. But, you know, Sandy sees a thing of beauty in a big old mason jar full of marbles. Yeah, you know, <laughs> and uh, I think that might be a giant ice cream maker, I guess. I'm not sure what the heck it is. She has some of the stuff she gets, honestly, no one knows. There's an ice cream maker. Okay. You remember these? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember cranking those. Oh, yes, sir. And here, I think for some reason, I think she found a whole bunch of piano hammers. <laughs> I think that's what these are. I guess. I don't know. In a lot of cases, she doesn't know. She just gets them because they look cute. And people uh, will sometimes buy things from her and, um, they, you know, and use them as uh, works of art somehow or another, turn them into a collage. Oh, there's an old Basset Hound. Actually, a friend, an old antique dealer friend of ours who passed away, Steffi, used to have this that dog on her uh, porch, I believe. And she gave... Uh, uh, before she passed away, she gave that to us, Sandy and me. It's kind of nice of her. Good woman, uh, Steph. She had that little painted pony antique shop in uh, Chester. She's a good person. Uh, in any case, you kind of get the idea. Uh, you got to watch yourself. Definitely you need a flashlight to walk around at night in this place. <laughs> it's, I mean, good Lord. She's, well, it's just amazing, the stuff she... Uh, she finds. Here's something interesting. This I think you'll like. Neat story. Come on, let's go over here. Sandy, uh, yeah, uh, a suit of armor. Now, these are actually uh, reproductions. Natu it's very hard to find an, a, a, a true suit of armor. Uh, it's, it almost doesn't happen. Most of them are in museums and all. But this one we keep in our entryway. And uh, it surprises people. They come walking in at night and they sense something's Whoa! <laughs> and they see that, that suit of armor looking at them. Uh, yeah, it, it tends to give you pause. This is, uh, that, that generally has, I don't think that's moved in, uh, that suit of armor's moved in probably eight years now. It's behind the snow shovel and uh, the lawn rake, and well, you can imagine. Um, this is kind of neat, because I got this for, her, I think, for Christmas one year. She kind of dug it. And uh, she kept it in our house up on uh, up on Schoolies Mountain for the longest time. Now here, well, it's got a good spot there. I got her one. Gosh, when we first met, uh, there was a place where I could buy these. Uh, there was I could get them where they were as as much as uh, say eleven to twelve feet high. In other words, twice the height of this one. I come up to about uh, there on this guy. Well, the uh, uh, the, those big ones, uh, this, this one comes up to about that guy's belt. All right. Uh, and I got her a big one and it was too big for the house. So we put it outside and you'd actually see it, airplanes would spot it from the air. Uh, if the sun was shining just right. Yes. And they'd, uh, not, not commercial planes, but small planes would, uh, fly by to take a look. <laughs> Oh, man. Sandy was so tickled with that. And honestly, uh, I was glad to give it to her. Doggone, that was just great. And she had herself, uh, she she loved having her big fat old tin man in the backyard. <laughs> Only at Sandy's house. Yes. 
Oh, my heavens. Well, you know, uh, yeah, Lord's Prayer moment. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, yeah, and the glory forever. So be it. Ah, the good old Sandmeister. I got to say, I am grateful for the uh, the wonderful wife I do, I do have. I don't know if she. Well, I guess she's happy she found me. I suppose. God, <laughs> I can be such a pest, but the uh, but she's a sweetie. She's a good girl. Anyway, there you go, friends. Uh, <laughs> and actually, you know, you're looking at all this, and oh my God, this is actually she's low on stock. Yeah. <laughs> by the time she's done, there's pathways in the house uh, by the time spring season starts. Anyway, I'll see. And then it all goes to flea markets or not, not so much flea markets, but up to that antique center. She seems to like that place. Slatington, Pennsylvania. Slatington Antique Center. It's, um, oh gosh, it's the, it's, it's easily the size of a supermarket, maybe bigger. And full of antiques. Anyway, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye now. God bless.